Welcome to lecture number 56 and we have been discussing with intelligence theorem. Very interesting theorem, intelligence theorem. And in my last class I told it is applicable only to different networks, but having same topology, same topology. And in this network six elements, in this network six elements, elements are different, it is like that. Then about one thing I am certain, suppose I forget about the second network which are the, this is suppose network A and this is network B where all the quantities I have marked with primes. Now, in this network at least this thing I know, if I calculate total absorbed, total power absorbed by each element and sum them up that must be equal to 0. Now, what is the power absorbed? Power absorbed sum of power absorbed. by each element, each element must be 0. What is that? Power absorbed by element 1, V 1, I 1 through the plus current is entering. Plow is element 2 absorbing power based on the uh, uh, voltage polarity and the current direction? Yes, it absorbs. So, plus V 2 I 2. What the element 3 is doing? It is also absorbing power. So, it will be V 3 into I 3. What is element 4 doing? Absorbing plus V 4 I 4. Element 5 absorbing plus V 5 I 5. And element 6, okay, it is also absorbing V 6. I 6 and this must be equal to 0 that is what we have learned. Similarly, in this network separately only thing this numbers have been replaced by prime therefore, uh, uh, if you say I will use for network B it will be similar equation will be V 1 dash I 1 dash absorbing power all the elements are that is how I have assigned the directions plus V 2 I 2 dash plus V 3 I T dash plus V 4 I 4 dash V 3 dash V 2 dash V 4 dash plus V 5 dash I 5 dash plus V 6 dash I 6 dash that will be also 0 why not <laughs> separate network. So, this is the power balance equation for each of the networks and nothing surprising about this. But now, intelligence theorem states that if you multiply voltages of network K with corresponding currents in those elements in network B that is what I will do intelligence theorem. This is not intelligence theorem, it is known uh, total power absorbed will be 0. Intelligence theorem intelligence tells intelligence theorem tells that you take voltage of this network, let us use different color. Say you take uh, this color voltage of this network across element 1 multiply with current I 1 dash same element element number 1 of the second network plus voltage of this network across element 2 that is V 2 I will not multiply with I 2, but we will multiply with I 2 dash and so on B 3 I 3 dash 
plus v 4 i 4 dashed plus v 5 i 5 dashed plus v 6 i 6 dashed and Telligence theorem tells that these two will be equal to 0. Alternatively, you take the voltage of this network and multiply with the current of network K, then also it will be 0. What does this mean? Also, V1 dashed into I1 that is voltage across each element of network B multiplied by the corresponding currents of network K and subnet up. So, V 1 dashed into I 1 plus V 2 dashed into I 2 plus V 3 dashed into I 3 plus V 4 dashed into I 4 plus V 5 dashed into I 5 plus V 6 dashed into I 6 that will be also equal to 0. That is the that is the new thing uh, the, the above two equations are ok individually we know for each network it is it looks surprising are you? Oh, voltage of one circuit multiplied with current of another circuit these two has got no coupling etcetera. How uh, this happens, but that is what intelligence proposed that this has to happen and we will try to prove it. Proof is very simple and elementary nothing complex, but the statement of the theorem you have understood. Therefore, two networks having same topology has to individually satisfy their own power balance equation that was known, but in addition to that this these two lines these two equations are also true this is the intelligence theorem. Now, we will try to see how this can be proved why uh, uh, such a thing which is not so apparent why voltage of this circuit and current in some other circuit even if their topologies are same why you multiply and sum them up will give you 0 how do you say that. It must be told that this V 1 and I 1 dash for example, V 1 into I 1 I know specifically it has got a physical meaning what it is amount of power absorbed by the load. But so far as V 1 into I 1 dash is concerned we cannot assign any physical significance to that, because voltage of uh, across element 1 of this network and current of uh, network B you are multiplying what does it physically signify? We do not know it is not possible to signify anything to this product. Although V 1 I 1 and V 1 dash I 1 dash I know pretty well what they signify, but let us come to this result why it will be like that. <coughs> so, I go to next page and paste it once again. So, this is the thing. So, proof of this network I am trying to do. So, uh, this is uh, so, this is this network ok the only thing this has not been copied this number is was node A this is node B this is node C and this is node A all things have come correctly. Achha. <coughs> now, from whatever network and so this is proof of proof of diligence theorem. Now, uh, it is uh, done like this suppose uh, I calculate the uh, power here that is I calculate V 1 I 1 of this network V 1 I 1 
all are absorbed V2 I2 plus V3 I3 plus V4 I4 plus V5 I5 plus V6 I6. Is not? Now, this V1 or this V1 can be written as V A 0 minus V B 0 potential this V 1 is V A 0 minus V B 0 V A 0 minus V B 0 into I 1 this I can write plus V 2 voltage across this element 2 is V A 0 itself V A 0 minus V 0 0 that is 0. So, V A 0 I 2 for element 3 it will be simply V B 0 is equal to V 3 0. So, V B 0 into I 3 for element 4 it is plus V C 0 into I 4 and for element 5 it will be V A 0 direction of current I have assumed like this. So, V A 0 minus V C 0 is the voltage which will make this side plus this side minus into I 5 and finally, the voltage across this element 6 is V B 0 minus V C 0 into I 6 this will be the thing and this I know is certain to be 0, because power absorbed by all the elements in this network, network A in network A. This is the thing. Now, what I will do is this, I will collect the terms of V A 0, V B 0, V C 0 separately. So, so I can say that V A 0 into from this term it will come I 1 plus I 2 this term V A 0 no V A 0 here here also there plus I 5 and no other V A 0 this will be the thing I can write plus V B 0 similarly I will calculate V B 0. V B 0 is minus I 1 this will give minus I 1 this will give plus I 3 V B 0 V B 0 is here once again plus I 6 this will be the V B 0. Then what is V C 0 all the terms V C 0 I am collecting no V C 0 here, no V C 0, no V C, it is I 4, I 4, here minus I 5, minus I 5 and oh sorry, then another term is there, minus I 6 <coughs> and that must be equal to 0, that is what I am telling. You see, I have calculated the power across each element and express the same quantity in terms of node voltages and some of the currents. Now, you see or I 1 plus I 2 plus I 5, I 1 plus I 2 plus I 5 at junction A must be 0. This is K C L at A is not. Similarly, I 3 plus I 6 minus I 1 at node B, you see I 3 plus I 6 is equal to minus I 1. So, here I write K C L this side only for this K C L at node A, what it will be? I 1 all currents are coming out from the node I 1 plus I 2 plus I 5 this must be equal to 0. K C L at node B, node B what is there? 
uh, node B I3 plus I6 going out. So, I3 plus I6 and I1 is coming out coming in. So, minus I1 this must be 0 that is I3 plus I6 is I1. So, I3 plus I6 minus I1 must be 0 and at node C at node C it will be I 5 is converging at C I 3. So, I 5 plus I 6 and another minus I 4 is also coming minus I 4 that is equal to 0. Is not? Which of course, mean uh, this is if you take this to other sides I 4 minus I 5 minus i 6 is equal to 0 same thing you can. Therefore, you see this is k c l at a similarly this term is k c l at node b and this term is nothing but k c l at node 3. So, what I am telling is uh, suppose you have not uh, this is another way of proving that power balance suppose I am just calculating how much total power absorbed no equal to 0 have put I know it has to be 0 this is one way of proving okay, in terms of node voltage you express and then you say V A 0 into 0 plus V B 0 into 0 plus V C 0 into 0 and this must be equal to 0 that is what the power balance equation is. So, uh, the total power absorbed by all the elements has to be 0 and it has come out to be 0 and this only thing I have expressed in terms of node voltages that is all. Now, come to this network in this network everything is like this. Therefore, I uh, no point in uh, going on writing V 1 dash I 1 dash plus V 2 dash I 2 dash what I am telling in network B in network B which is totally a separate network network B only thing all the quantities here has been replaced by primes. So, same thing you will get if you apply only thing they will become prime that is I 1 dash plus I 2 dash plus I 5 dash then plus B B 0 dash into into minus I 1 dash plus I 3 dash plus I C dash and plus B C 0 dash into I 4 dash minus I 5 dash minus I 6 dash. And once again I 1 dash plus I 2 dash plus I 5 dash will be K C L at A dash at note A dash. This is K C L at B dash and this is K C L this must be at C dash node number C dash. So, this will be once again 0 B A 0 into 0. So, so these are all zeros. these terms bracketed terms are zeros. So, this will be also equal to 0 that is separately the power balance will take place is not that is the whole idea. Now, now we are uh, just uh, at the last line of proving this. What is that? Now, I am telling that okay, let, let me do elaborately go to the next page uh, and paste this one move it ok. <clears throat> now, 
Now, come to this uh, circuit once again. Now, what I will be doing is this as suggested by Telligen that now let us try to calculate V 1 and then I 1 dashed. Voltage across this element and current in this element plus power absorbed all the things plus V 2 voltage across this and current in second element of network B this is network A this is network B plus V 3 into I 3 dashed plus V 4 into I 4 dashed plus V 5 into I 5 dashed and plus V 6 into I 6 dashed this is the thing. Here once again I will do the same thing that is V 1 this voltage is of course equal to V A 0 let me write that okay, minus V B 0 into I 1 dashed V 2 V 2 is nothing but V uh, this is A mind you V A 0 plus V A 0 into I 2 dashed what is V 3 B B 0 into I 3 dashed plus what is V 4 voltage across element 4 is nothing but V C 0 B C 0 into I 4 dashed what is V 5 B A 0 minus V C 0 I 5 and finally, across this element 6 V 6 is V B 0 minus V C 0 V B 0 minus V C 0 this will be the thing into I 6. <coughs> and once again I collect the terms of V A 0. So, so, just out of curiosity I have multiplied without knowing really what uh, does it physically uh, imply. I have taken the voltage across element 1 and multiplied with uh, I 1 dashed of circuit B and so on just out of curiosity I am doing and then I collect the term of V A 0. What I will be left with I 1 dashed this is plus I 2 dashed this I 2 dash will come and V A 0 where, where else plus I 5 dash. Then for V B 0 plus V B 0 if you collect it is minus I 1 dash for from this then plus I 3 dash from this term and plus I 6 dash. And finally, V C 0 into all the terms of V C 0 that is I 4 dashed from this place minus I 5 dashed from this and minus I 6 dashed this one. Now, what is K C L at A? K C L in network B at a, a dashed is how much I 1 dashed plus I 2 dashed plus I 5 dashed is 0 K C L at node B dashed is uh, I 3 dashed plus I 6 dashed minus I 1 dashed and that is equal to 0 and K C L at node C K C L at C dashed will be how much I 4 dashed minus I 5 dashed minus I 6 dashed is equal to 0. Therefore, this, this sum is equal to V A 0 into 0 plus V B 0 into 0 
plus B C 0 into 0 and this has to be 0. This is the most interesting part. See this B A 0 uh, into now K C L of nodes see no matter uh, these two circuits are independent i 1, i 2, i 3, i 4, i 5, i 6 will be totally different from i 1 dash, i 2 dash, i 3 dash, i 4 dash, i 5 dash and i 6 dash. But i 1 dash, i 2 dash and i 5 dash when added must be 0 because it is the compulsion of this network to satisfy K C L at all the points at all the nodes A dash, B dash and C dash. So, V A 0 is multiplied with a term which is K C L at nodes A dash, B dash, C dash and they are 0. That is why we say that, um, but and we started with this and then came to this to establish that this indeed is 0. I am not going to elaborate it, but you can easily see similarly V 1 dash if you wish to calculate you can calculate and I 1 I will do. Okay? So, let me go to, so understood this, this is intelligence theorem voltage across this element current in other sum them up then also it is 0. Similarly, I could do which is just a few lines I will write because it is necessary. Also, also this is network B, this is network A. Also note that V 1 dash into I 1 I will do plus V 2 dash voltages of this networks multiplied by the respective current in the first network that is network A actual current I 2 plus V 3 dash plus I 3 plus V 4 dash I 4 plus V 5 dash I 5 plus V 6 dash I 6 what this comes out to be. Okay, same procedure V 1 dash is what? voltage across this element in terms of the node voltages V dash A 0 minus V dash B 0. I am sorry I, I should write it much more correctly V A dash 0 dash this is this dash will come A dash 0 minus B did B dash you know a dash 0 dash into I 1 plus V 2 dash is nothing but V 2 dash is this one V a dash 0 dash into I 2 this is I 1 plus element 3 V element 1 element uh, element 2 is B A dash 0 I 2 element 3 is B B dash 0 into I 3 B dash 0 dash plus element 4 it is B C dash 0 dash into I 4 element 5 B dash uh, I mean B A dash 0 dash I am always making mistake B A dash 0 dash minus element 5 B C dash 0 dash and uh, that will be into I 5 current of this circuit and finally, the last term that is that will be plus that is element 6 which is V B dash 0 dash minus B C dash 0 dash 
into I 6 dash I 6. And once again you collect the terms that is B A dash 0 dash. It is equal to I 1 from this I 1 will come then plus I 5 from this it will come and where is it? and plus I 2 sorry plus I 2 also. So, let me put this 2 comes first I 2 plus I 5. Similarly, B B dash O dash will be equal to minus I 1 from this plus I 3 from this and plus I 6 and finally, B C dash 0 dash will come as B dash uh, 0 dash C, C is not there here it is I 4 minus I 5 and minus I 6. But what is this thing? I 1 plus I 2 plus I 5 is KCL of network at no day, at no day this is A, B, C and this must be 0. This one I 1 plus I 3 is nothing but KCL at node node B of network A not B dash, but this must be 0 this network whatever it is separate, but it, it is satisfying KCL at all, all the node I 1 plus I 3 plus I 6 if uh, hopefully it is coming correctly and finally, this one is nothing but KCL at node C of network A these are all of network A of network A. So, this in general is your uh, intelligence theorem. Okay. One interesting point is that uh, see okay, it is nothing but because KCL is satisfied that is why you get this we will see its application next class, but another interesting thing is the voltage across each elements of this network that is V 1 I 1 dash. Suppose, these two circuits are having current bearing voltages and currents suppose time dependent thing. It is also to be noted that you can take the voltages of this network at say some time say T 1 all the voltages I have taken and the current values of this network I will take at some different times say T 2 still this will hold simply because K C L is satisfied out all the times no matter uh, that it, it is satisfying now and then it is not satisfying not like that. In fact, we have pointed this out many a times while going K V L and K C L will be satisfied at all times in a circuit be it linear circuit, nonlinear circuit whatever it is K C L has to satisfy K V L is has to satisfy. There are many applications in communication signal processing of this particular theorem, but we will apply here. Uh, this theorem in our next class to establish another interesting uh, uh, circuit theorems called reciprocity theorem. Thank you, I stop here today, but go through this carefully, it is very interesting, otherwise, two totally different circuit, but only point is they must be of same topology then you cannot do you cannot have a circuit like this with triangular topology uh, with a circuit like that this circuit is different topology is not you cannot i mean perhaps another element you bring in 
you must see structurally there same time thank you